Today is October 10th, 2022, Columbus Day 2022. Columbus Day weekend, camping up at uh, the uh, Rensselaerville State Forest. It's been kind of cool and windy, gray. Uh, Saturday afternoon and Sunday morning were quite nice. And uh, Sunday evening wasn't too, too, too cold. Wasn't up the Adirondacks. Um, but I've been having an issue with my truck. I've noticed it just seems very sloppy in the rear end at times. So I was very hesitant. I had checked out last week. They didn't say anything was wrong. But I didn't want to risk breaking down the Adirondacks. I mean, it's, it's fine, but I uh, just wanted to be careful. Make sure I drive a little more. I mean, the repair shop just says the shocks and everything else are pretty much shot in the truck. But uh, it still goes. And that's what I said. If it goes, drive it. Just enjoy life, basically. Oh, yeah. So I got the flags up. Colors are pretty good up here. It's just been the wind has been whipping around most of the week, and so it's been kind of um, cool, especially when it's cloudy like this. I mean, Saturday morning was real cold, and Friday night was pretty cold too. It was actually raining a little bit. But yeah, getting up here. I was here three weeks ago, and I wasn't planning to come up here this week, but it was actually good because I was, you know, doing remote work on Friday, and uh, I've just been work all weekend, and it's been busy. So just coming up here is easy and you just park and uh, there's a lot of roads and trails to hike. I'm going to come back up here in December, I think. Uh, you know, if there's snow, I'll be skiing. If there isn't snow, um, I'll do some hikes after hunting season. Probably it's the last camping trip in October. It's just too busy of work. But uh, come November, I might go out to Casanova. Um, and then... Who knows, uh, might do a trip up north uh, or over Thanksgiving. Depends how the truck's running and how busy I am and just the weather. I mean, I don't mind camping in the winter weather, it's just the wind, you can hear it. The wind just makes things so cold. It's hard to stay warm when it's wind. I mean, you can build, even have, put tarps up to keep the wind, block the wind. It, it helps somewhat. And the heater certainly helps, but when it's windy, the heat blows away. And it's just it's tough to get, stay nice and warm and comfortable when it's windy. Oh yeah, so I'll bring a tarp up for the rain. I only did two flags. I mean, the colors you can see up here are spectacular. And that's the best thing of the weekend has been the colors. And just, I did some great pictures hiking around. I mean, it's not the Adirondacks, but I mean, the good news is the cell service is better here which is actually really important because I've been really working all weekend. Mostly using my phone, but also the computer and the hotspot. I mean, it's good. I wouldn't have gotten today, I wouldn't have gotten today or Friday off if it wasn't a working weekend. So, I mean, today I'll be working too. I'm hoping to get on the VPN down at Rensselaer Bill, and, uh, you know, uh, using the library Wi-Fi and then uh, do some hiking at Hike Preserve. But we'll see, because I just have to get a few files, and I just can't do that over the, the, the hot spot. It's not, we'd use a lot of data, and the other problem is just it's not working uh, well over the hot spot with, you know, loading any big pictures or anything. And I only have so much data, too. So I'm going to take camp down now. Um, I'm glad I, I rediscovered this area. I used to come up here a lot when I was younger. And then I stopped, well, in part because all the roadside campsites for a while were posted by... Uh, permit only and you know I don't have time to call a freaking forest ranger up to get a permit mailed to me you know I usually don't decide where I'm gonna go until a few days before I mean heck on Friday I was gonna drive up the Adirondacks and I drove to Schenectady and then I said oh I just don't like the way this truck feels even though it's been checked out and I said well I was worried too about driving up the Adirondacks you know you get those dead spots not just for breaking down but also work because I've just there's been work emails constantly even driving up here on uh uh, Friday, I was stopping to answer work emails and texts, and they just keep coming. 